Hello, 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 and welcome. Powerful woman, this video is for you if you need your trust restored in God. This video is a prayer about restoring our trust in the only one that is trustworthy. You want to stay until the end in order to receive what God has for you. I'll see you at the end. Bye. We are praying to restore trust in God. It is so important that we have our trust in the right place in order for us to be successful in everything that we do. And so I am Shaiteria Jones and I help powerful Christian women take what they've learned from the Bible and apply it to their everyday lives so that they can be successful in everything that they do. I do that by helping them to overcome fears, receive healing and deliverance from past hurts and trauma, as well as uncover patterns that hinder destiny. And so one of the big things that hinder us from being successful in this life is not trusting God. And often our trust is snatched from us because of the things that people do. And we often think of God like we think of people. And if you've had encounters with people who were untrustworthy, or you've had encounters with people who did you wrong, just in general, because sometimes people abuse us, they abuse our trust, and it causes us then to have this idea about everyone. And so it's so important that we purify our hearts and our minds to be able to properly trust and receive from God because when we don't trust God we can't really receive that he's good and therefore we block the flow of what he wants to give us and so God wants his people to be restored to him um, in spirit body and soul he wants he wants us restored to him completely so that we um, understand our true connection with him and that apart from him we cannot be successful and so this morning i just want to bless you with this prayer most gracious and everlasting father we thank you we thank you for this opportunity to come before you and pray we thank you oh god that you are magnificent and you're mighty we thank you that you are strong and loving and that you are the great i am we thank you oh father god that you sit high and you look low, that heaven is your throne and earth is your footstool, but you truly are the ancient of days. We thank you that you are the lover of our souls, that you are redeem that you are the redeemer of our souls, O oh Father, <clears throat> that you are the God of restoration. And that restoring our trust in you is not a difficult thing for you. And so we thank you for the healing and deliverance that will take place in our very souls, oh God. That we would begin to see you as the magnificent God that you are. That we would honor you as our master, oh Father. That we would be able to have what you say. Father, some trust in horses and some trust in chariots, but we will trust in the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run into and are saved. And so we thank you, O oh God, for the salvation that is in you. We thank you for the salvation in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We just thank you, O oh Father God for showing up and showing out consistently in our lives, O oh Father. And we give you praise and we give you honor. We thank you, O oh Father, that you are trustworthy because your ways are righteous and they are just, O oh Father. We thank you that you are trustworthy because your ways are righteous and they are just, O oh God. We thank you, Father, that although people have done us wrong, O oh God, we will not hold you responsible for their sin because you are a sin-free God. You are a sinless God. And because you do not love sin, oh God, we know that you don't love what they have done to us, oh Father. And so now we ask that you show us how to walk in forgiveness, oh God. We ask that you show us how to walk in the truth of your word, that we will use it to transform our hearts, that we will see you as truly the man magnificent God that you are. Lord, we repent, oh God, for not trusting you. And we repent for holding you responsible for what humans have done to us, oh God. And we even now ask 
that you reveal unto us how to get back into your presence. And if we've never been in your presence, oh God, we ask that you show us the way to be in your very presence, oh God, because we know that at your right hand, oh God, and in your presence is the fullness of joy, oh God. There is riches in your presence and there are blessings in your presence and there is transformation in your presence, oh God, and there is restoration in your presence, oh God, and there is redemption in your presence, oh God, and there is glory in your presence, oh God, and there is faith in your presence, oh God, and we need what's in your presence, oh God. We know that there is breakthrough in your presence, oh God. We know that there is a place, oh God, where we can stand in faith in you, oh God, we can stay in a perpetual place of success, oh Father God. We know that our prosperity is in you, oh God. And so we want what your word says that we can have, oh God. And so we desire to have trust in you. We desire to have a firm foundation. We desire to be strengthened. We desire, oh Father God, to be refreshed. Because we know, oh God, that apart from you, we cannot live this life. And so we just speak trust over your people, oh God. Trust in the name of Jesus. We will trust in you, oh God. We will trust in your word oh father god and when situations and circumstances show up in our lives to dissuade us and they show up to discourage us oh god we will trust in you and so we thank you for a newfound revelation of trust oh god we thank you for new appreciation of trust oh god because we know that when we trust you oh god we know that you won't hurt us We know, oh God, that you are so good that you won't hurt us. And so we even now repent for thinking that you have been punishing us, oh God. And we even now repent for thinking that you have been destroying us, oh God. For we know that we have an enemy of our souls that have come to kill, steal, and to destroy. But Christ came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. That you are the God who likes to elevate. And so if we have been disobedient unto you, we repent repent for our disobedience because our disobedience demonstrates our distrust in you oh god and so we repent oh god for trusting in the world system and not in your hand oh god we repent for not realizing that you are the source and everything else is the resource, oh God. We repent for trusting more on our jobs than we do in your word, oh God. We repent, oh Father God, for not honoring you the way that we should in order to have what you say. We repent for not living lives of supernatural abundance, oh God, because that is the way that you confirm your covenant with us, oh God. Lord, we know that you want to bless us and we want to receive your blessings, oh God. So we even now desire to walk in obedience, oh Father. We desire to walk upright before you, oh God. We desire to walk in your ways, oh Father, that you would make us prosperous. Lord, we thank you, oh God, that you have already planned our future. We thank you, oh God, that you give us an expected end, oh Father God, that you have thoughts towards us that are good and not of evil. Lord, we thank you even now for revealing unto us your desires for us. We ask that you open our books, oh God, that we would see the path that you have laid out for us, oh Father. Lord, we want more of you and less of us, oh God. Lord, we want more of you and less of us, oh God. So teach us your ways that we would walk in your truth, oh Father, that we would trust in your word. Lord, we ask that you open up the mysteries of your word unto us, that we would begin to apply it to our lives and trust you, oh Father, that we would trust you, oh Father, that we would trust you, oh God. Reveal to us ways that we have manifested distrust of the holy God. Reveal to us ways, oh Father, where we have demonstrated that we are going to do our own thing because we don't trust you. Forgive us, oh God, for trusting in the enemy and not in you. For you are good and your mercy endure forever. And so I pray even now over these, your people, for a fresh revelation of trust, for what trust looks like, oh God, for what trust acts like, oh Father God, and for how trust handles you. We thank you when we are in your trust, oh God, we are safe. When we are in your trust, oh God, we are beneficiaries 
of your word. And so we thank you that us trusting in you is protection. We thank you that us trusting in you is our portion in this life, oh God. And so we thank you for providing for us because we trust in you. We thank you, oh Father God, that you transform us because we trust in you. We thank you, oh God, that we will not lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, we will acknowledge you because we trust you. Lord, we thank you that you will keep us in perfect peace because we trust you. We thank you, oh Father God, that the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of us and will lead us into all truth because we trust you, O oh God. That we won't get off track because we trust you, O oh God. And because we know that you have our best interest at heart, O oh Father God. I just speak healing of past hurts and pains over these, your people, O oh God. I even now cut off communication from the second heaven that would tell them that you are not a God who's trustworthy. I cancel the slander spirits, oh Father God, that have come to derail and deride against your people, oh Father God. And I even now speak peace upon this people, oh God, that they will have rain upon the land that you have given them, oh Father, that they will have rain upon the land that you have given them, oh God, because they trust in you. Lord, that their harvest will be made manifest because they trust in you. And so I thank you for a new level of trust. I thank you for a new level of rest. I thank you for a new level of revelation, oh God. I thank you for repentance coming upon your people, oh God. I thank you for repentance coming upon your people, oh God. And I thank you that we are sure in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Powerful woman, I pray that that prayer blessed you in a mighty way. And if it did, comment below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to know um, what benefited you the most from this prayer. Listen, I pray to see you in another video. Bye.